the recording okay guys i mean for my students just allow me 10 minutes i'll just give a brief to this the people who are uh, who have joined and this is a demo for them they don't and i don't take uh, the full day to explain this just like 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes okay then we'll just continue with the uh, training okay so uh anyways then i don't want to record at this recording so i'm going to give you uh, some uh, additional inputs before we start the training okay so guys i'm you i'm going to be your trainer okay so uh tell the end of the training you can harass me like anything i'll if you want me to sign i can send me any such documents i'll sign it literally and i'll send it to you back so you can harass me even in the midnight for your queries seriously okay i'm not joking fine since like we don't have any groups whatsapp groups because that's we had a bad experience before uh, since that reason we are not encouraging any whatsapp groups only for the level 1 but for level 2 even though it's going to be messy girls especially you have to be take care uh, joining either from your husband's mobile or from your dad's mobile okay so that we do suggest that and since uh, level 2 it needs like a very detailed you know assistance so for coding you definitely have a whatsapp group okay so don't worry about that since you been uh into such positions they'll keep on helping you don't worry don't worry about that okay fine so and one more thing i mean next thing it's like uh activeness so don't be you know don't like are i just paid the fee so i'll just come sit and listen what he is explaining you know i don't want to talk like if you have any this kind of shy feel leave it seriously okay at least for this treat me like a brother don't call me sir nothing i hate this uh, calling sir 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 no call me bro who are you are even okay elder or small like i'm very younger okay i'm just 23 24 that's it i'm just kidding ah huh? okay um okay just call me bro simply okay and say like if you have any queries text me just you know that is really important when we are on a wrap up just feel like a brother and clear your doubts okay and don't hesitate to ask your queries even though if it's a silly thing or it's a, a very complicated thing clear clear your things first okay uh, because you know i mean don't feel that if i if i'm asking like silly questions the other people will get lost with me and no keep keep the talk from your mind literally okay so you are here to learn and you're paying it and it's not a free training so you have a rights to ask okay and at the same time give others a chance to uh, clear their doubts as well okay so every day like first 15 minutes uh, and last 15 minutes we'll have a, a q and a part okay so if you have any questions note it down somewhere so because you know why i'm telling you to note it down because i i'm having like a some a problem like how do you say i'll forget everything uh, very quickly okay not the content this okay general personal things so i'll easily forget so if you have that kind of a thing just note it down and clear all your doubts in either in either in the beginning 15 minutes or in the last 15 minutes okay between one and a half hour at this my time that's my time okay so and this training will be completely like a conceptual training conceptual training okay so don't uh, if you don't understand the concept i'm going to give you another example if you still don't understand i'll give you the third example don't fool yourself if you don't understand tell me frankly very very important thing because i i mean i want everyone to be happy and of course these concepts are very easy to understand the way i took even i can explain the same concept in 10 minutes also but i'm killing one and a half hour of yours it doesn't mean like wasting and uh, to not to do anything okay i want everyone to be uh, very clear and you know i'm going to show you how it exactly implemented and there are most of the stuff it's not it's not a part of a dynamo since i'm you know uh, bringing like almost like my 16 years of coding experience into and uh, made this curriculum so it will take initially when i started this training it is 15 hours but now it is 60 hours that time it is 15 uh, it's a 25000 only 
now even if it is like 60 years it is same 25000 so we are not insisting on money or something seriously okay so i want to be benefited you know i mean the students to be benefited simple okay so utilize this and from i mean if the people have joined for this demo uh, this is a live training and you are getting this as a demo for you so uh, okay uh, whatever uh, and from next batches i am not going to be the tutor i mean for april i mean no, march and march we are going to continue so april and may i think i'll be on a leave i supposed to be leave this month itself i, I don't know suddenly one of our project have been this uh, like uh, got uh, on hold okay i'm not sure i mean uh, whether or else uh, it will be like uh, it will take like one or two months i will be on leave for sure but when i don't know exactly and very important thing uh, from the next financial year that course to and the course cost is going it's going to be increased so if you have to join you have to join this batch itself okay for i mean if you want to get some uh better off on this okay okay cool so and be active very very active if i'm asking anything please do respond if you have shy feel uh to talk use chat box but i need your presence you know i need i need your activeness so your the way you respond to me it's my energy to continue the training okay if you don't understand you're just sitting and no response then Uh, i mean fell down and your sessions will be completely boring okay so encourage me with your replies and let's see the uh, result you know the training how it goes clear guys okay so myself like i'm all, um, i think uh, you guys have already known it and i've sent you have trained almost like more than 950 candidates with this batch i'm going to clear 1000 for sure crossing 1000 students train on automation and we have placed almost 250 200 to 250 of the candidates into the companies so still there are few guys okay of course i could place them for sure in coming years okay so well uh, today's topic is like data types guys okay so my introduction i don't want to give it again so let's get into the training and if there are any questions please use chat box i'm going to reply after some time okay well so today's training is completely the heart of the concept the heart of the entire concept and this concept we are we are stretching it for 3 days guys if you if you are here uh, for the first 3 days you are going to understand what is happening uh, with bim automation and how easy it is because it's really 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 easy and i'm going to teach you the heart of the concept in the beginning okay so you started you know you don't get any heart attacks in future you understand i'm i'm telling you how to handle a heart now okay for the first 3 days okay so make sure you will you will correct you you know you'll correctly diagnose the scripting part okay so okay i have to take this now then it started working pro- properly if i took more if i consume more ghee oil kalas it, it got jam over there so <laughs> okay so these kind of uh, uh, you know explanations i'm going to give you uh, during the training so it will be like completely very 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 uh, looks like spoon feeding what is spoon feeding okay so the first concept we are going to learn for the first three days it's a data types data type is nothing but okay for example if you join any a uh, uh, python training institute or a c sharp okay a training institute so generally what they do they'll first start the concept with a, a data types the first concept is they start with a data types even we are also started you can ask me rajesh you told me that you are not going to teach anything which is related to the coding then why you start with a coding terminologies no i relate the coding terminologies with the revit application with the revit application i don't pronounce any coding uh, you know uh you know a uh, terminal just till we reach the design scripting so forget about it okay so the first uh like concept let me use my x mind uh should i go with new one 
of values or old one itself. There are many things to learn, many things. These are the concepts. There are many. Oh, this is not the one. Okay, whatever. I need to explain that. This is not the one, right? Okay, fine. So, so we are playing with a concept called data types. We are, we are playing with a, uh, a concept called data types. So what do you mean by data type in the sense? Um, for example, I have this duct. And what is the elevation here? What is the elevation of this duct? What is the elevation, like middle elevation of this? 2560. 2560. If I want to control this duct height without using a cursor, without using a cursor, then so which should I control? Where should I control that particular number? Correct? Correct? So this is a number. If I want to move this, if I want to move this, I do, but I don't want to move like this. I don't want to move like this. Look, I don't move. I don't want to move this side or this side. So how can I control element height without moving, without moving that duct? Even I don't want to select the duct also. So that's a data. So this number is our data. This number is our data. I want to change this element position from one level to another level. So where can I change that? Where can I change that? In the reference level. Level one to the level two or level three or a roof level. Correct? So even this is also called as a data. This is called a data. Okay. So this is in a number format and this is in a text format. Okay. So how do we come to know that this is a number format or this is a string form when this is in a text format? While I create the parameters, try to understand very clearly. Okay. I'll, I'm going to use a revit completely for even uh, the coding examples. Okay. So manage, I'll just go to the project parameters. And when I create a new parameter, this is asking me what type of what type of parameter you are going to play with to create with. Okay. So here, if you observe this for the first time, I think you are noticing this is saying data type. I don't think so. Since you don't have any coding experience or knowledge before, you didn't see that this is a coding terminology, data type. Okay. It's a data type. So data type in the sense. What kind of a data type it does? So I have a text. So let's, for example, uh, let's say one, and I, I want to, you know, tag an element and the tag contains text and some uh, tag contains a room number, like it's a number. So I want to enter, I want to store a number in it. I want to store a text in it. So number, number parameter. Text, text parameter. Now, we call this as a data types, but with a different name. We don't call that as a text. We don't call this as a number. Then what? I'll explain you in coming, okay? Coming examples, okay? And just to let me erase everything. So text, integer, angle, area, cost per area, distance, length, mass density, number, rotation angle, slope, speed, time, volume, all these are data types, but they have a common thing in it. If I want to enter an angle, should I type a text or a number? Angle. Number. Number, correct. So yeah. if I want to enter an area, so is it a number or a text? Number. Correct. Number. So distance? Number. 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 Slope. Number. Number. Uh, speed. 
speed number only number correct volume currency url url text text correct so text and material text also text material is also text okay so fill pattern fill pattern think twice code fill pattern text only oh yeah. fill pattern alpha numeric alpha numeric fill maybe pattern. patterns are match match ah correct here it's an image good so fill pattern either it is an image or it is a rivet element either it is a rivet element or it is an image or whatever okay i'll will go that into the deeper and you know in coming sessions okay so the second one i mean the next one image so that is expecting image now so sr no multi line text so family type we have only these so if you filter the common stuff if i filter the common stuff out of the data types out of the data types let me make it more clear so this is a text okay let me show you how many data types we have and how many data types you are going to play with okay so integer it is a number okay let me use green color for this integer it's a number 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 time it is also a number volume number currency number thus i'll use brown this is a text okay and this is a text material actually it is an element okay like let me use red color element why i'm using red i'll come i'll, I'll explain you fill pattern image these are red and the boolean it's like sr no sr no like check boxes okay so this i'll prefer orange this so multi line text so text in the sense mm, text again so that thing we don't have any one we don't have any many data types <laughs> if you understand like how to control a parameter and if you understand the data type of it colors it's it's going to be clear and you are you will be more friendly with your uh, you know parameters i'll i'll show you how it is let me mute so here i have a text here <laughs> the first one is a text okay the first one is a text and the second one is a number and third one like the one red color it is like a image or element it could be anything image or element okay someone said it is an image and it is actually an element okay so sr no that is a let's say let me write sr no only sr no that's it so we have only four data types we have only four data types so i mean it shows like many but we are i mean if you uh, you know check the unique things there are only four now so what what are those text number and uh, let's say someone said image and i am saying it is an element okay so the another one is like sr no i don't want to explain now what what is that let, let me write because sr no it is not a text it is not a number it looks like a text saying sr no it, it looks like a text but actually no so th this is where you mostly guys uh, confuse and tomorrow i'm going to confuse you a lot not tomorrow maybe today itself i'm going to confuse a lot and at the same time i'm going to give you a clear a picture like how you know you play with uh uh you know the variables and the data types okay rajesh rajesh sorry to interfere so what yeah. is actually an element it's like revit ka basic uh, unit or uh, what is element can you give a shed more light on the data type element i'll show you i'll show you i'll explain you okay so let's okay. go on one by one i'm going to explain don't worry okay so there is all the drawings so we have a text number s and o first we started we'll start playing with a number let's start playing with a number okay we don't call this number as a number in this number we'll call with a two different namings so the first one is integer and second one is a double okay 
so even you can find out here as well so i'm having like integer one and i'm having one more number rajesh you told me uh, integer is a part of a number but why integer and number here if i create an integer parameter it will not allow the decimal values if i create any if i create a parameter uh, uh with the i mean if i choose like integer when you're trying to enter like 9160.56.56789 it will not accept the decimal values i mean after the dot it will not allow so simply it will convert that into 9161 it will round off the number and it will store it okay so this is what integer is and what about the number it will if you enter only 9160 it will add 0. 0.0000 so this is contain this contains the decimal values and this without the decimal values is this clear guys is this clear Yes. Is this yes. clear now? Okay. So let me show you clearly. Yes. Some examples. Let me show you some examples. Because if you know what kind of a element is expecting which data type, you can easily play with it. I'm gonna showing I'm gonna show you how exactly you play with the things as well. Okay. So uh, now tell me. Uh, upper and top elevation is this a uh, integer or a double double integer number number double we, do, we don't pronounce number. as a number now guys we are not pronouncing it as a number okay so we started let's let's make a habit calling in terms of you know coding of course we are playing with a uh, repeat interface but still we'll start pronounce it like a with the coding terminals okay so uh 2735 it is a 2735.0 it is a double double if it has a decimal values see very simple dot decimal value so double if no decimal value it is an integer simple so 2560 double 2385 double Double. Size 400 into 350. Into some other data type. Some other data type. Integer. Nice answer. I think it's what about width and height? Double. 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 Okay. Because if the width and height are double, how come a size will be on another data type? Hmm? Correct because this is this is a text. This is I mean sorry, this is the value where which is taking the width. For example, if I change like 450, like 450. Now it changes like the size 450 into 350. See now? So it is exactly limited, but you cannot change the parameter. I mean, you can't change the value in the size parameter. The reason why I'll show you later. I mean tomorrow, not today. Okay. So 450, 350. It's a double and double. Length? Double. 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 All of double. Comments? Integer. Text. 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 Sorry, text. Okay. Mark? Integer. Integer. Okay. Integer. Okay. Integer. Okay. okay. Cool. So. Um, uh, Rajesh, sorry hmm. for interruption. Uh, can you maximize your screen? Uh -huh. Yes. Can you please maximize your screen? It's already on full screen. I think you have to turn off your participants. I think if you're seen like a okay. attendees here, you just turn off the attendees by dragging this bar to the top. Is it clear? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Clear? Okay. Fine. So it's already on full screen. Thank you. So now I think you are very clear now. Now let me show you how we use Dynamo uh, to play with those parameters. Okay. Let's say I'll select the same duct now. I'm going to select the same duct and I 
I'm going to open this Dynamo. So this is a Dynamo workspace. Don't ask me what are um, like, how do I get the screen and everything? Because, you know, the first three days, it's very, very important for me and for you too. I don't want to make you bore explaining the Dynamo interfaces and everything in the day one, day two, you know, uh, not like that. OK, so installation and the packages we are using and everything I'm going to share you tomorrow and uh, not tomorrow. I mean, after third day till then, uh, I'll explain you how to use a Dynamo in tomorrow session. OK, till then, you just wait for some time. OK, I mean, if you have seen a bunch of packages in my machine and if you can't see the notes which i'm explaining in today's room so don't get confused i'm going to share you everything i want you guys to be aligned with me exactly so what are the resources i'm using in my machine i'm going to share it to you don't worry every single thing okay clear except this x mind file because this is a company's property and i don't i cannot okay clear so uh, the resources which I've shared you, which is more than worth of 70,000, more than that, because I'm going to share you my entire collection. Like I'm very, uh, you know, uh, I'm like an another, uh, you know, library. So you'll see that for sure um, in your coming uh, training. Okay. Whatever you ask me, I never say no. Every single thing I'm, I'm having a solution. Even if you ask related to some of the coding uh language also i can simply explain that okay so anyways that we'll see later so first time uh this is my workspace and i'm asking see in the scratch how did we like have some blocks here i'm having some blocks here so i am i want to pull some blocks which i exactly required but how do you come to know rajesh since you have a, a six years of experience or 16 years of experience you will be coming to know like how to pull a particular node but how do you come to know that it's it, we have a concept called node finding how to find a node it takes two hours to explain sometimes more than two hours i'm going to take that session for two hours and i'm explaining how to call a particular node so once you call the particular node i'm going to explain you how to understand the inputs everything don't worry okay Till then, you have to wait for some time. Okay. So, here, like I want to select. So, let me type select. So, I'll see like some uh, nodes which I can select directly. So, pick elements, pick faces, pick objects. I think I can pick some objects. Views. Okay. Views dot selection. I can, I can uh, collect some views. I can select some views. Okay. I can select a particular face. I can see some, but I don't. There is there are no such a note which i'm exactly looking for then you have to refine that search like how we have a library here we have another library very beautiful library this one so if i type select i see hundreds of nodes sometimes thousands of nodes but in this library will just have only I mean if I type the same select here I can get maximum 20 not more than that but here until you keep on searching it will keep on giving wherever there is a select it will be so your search will not get stopped with only the select so if I want to play with like a filter I just type a filter here again it will give you 20 but you don't know what to exactly ask next to it I want to filter, but I don't know how to ask. See, now there are hundreds of nodes. You can, you, you must have a patience to understand. Okay, copy filter, add view filters to view, add a filter, add filters. Okay, this is for view and this is for schedule view. Okay, to apply the filters. So filter by analysis results, by filters view ID, by properties, by rules. So you have everything here. Okay, if I want to play with the templates, view templates. I'll just type view template. So these are the notes we have. And if I type view templates, the same, I can see maximum 10 to 15, but here I can see more. So how do you get everything? Like I'm going to explain you here, like in the node finding concept and explain everything. Okay. So uh, for now, 
don't get confused i don't want to present that okay select model element so i want to play with a single element i'll use this if i want to play with multiple elements i will be using this okay so let's start playing with a single element now so I, this is a button if any in if any node which is having a button it means you have to click on it to make that node search or look for something so i'll just click simply click on select now that's a grayed out and now i have an access to select any element so i just selected one element here i'm done if i switch back to dynamo i can see that 47867 that is a duck so that's a duck okay there are few more ground rules like you must have to follow that is nothing like uh you know um, i'll explain later not now okay not for this now so select model element i'll just get i'll show you one ground rule so i'm having like an element i'm having like an element okay rajesh i'm very new to this um bro i'm very new to this i want to understand uh, how to play further because i don't know anything uh, what to how to proceed further so i don't know even what it exactly gives you also in that case you first started playing with the parameters be you know make it as an habit to play with the default parameters because it contains some data if you started playing with the default data you in in coming sessions i'm going to play you with the hidden data are you joking what kind of a hidden data so why uh, you know the developers are more powerful than uh, modelers or coordinators because they have an additional access to see something which a modeler can't see you understand okay can you show me that yes of course i'll just select this element i just selected this element and i have a tool i'll just click on snoop selection this is the properties palette we are going to use this is the properties palette we are going to use in our coming sessions okay so what does it have rajesh even it looks exactly same no no you don't have an id information in this but you can see that id information every single parameter you just know only for every element you have an id no actually for one element you have four different ids i'll show you in a navis works example i'm going to present like uh, how to play how to uh, make the complete coordination you know uh, in a training like i'll i'll explain you without using navis works how do you how can you create uh, you know i want only i want to see only the clashed views and for every single clash i i need i want to create a separate view it exactly looks like uh, i mean you know navis works views you are going to you are going to do that i'm going to explain at that time i'll explain it don't worry okay so element.id so these are the parameters which you can't see here and not only this when i click on a bounding box i'll get an another properties palette so when i just click on the transform i'll get an another properties palette so when i just click on this again i i'm going to get an another properties palette so there are n number of properties information i'm having like let's say parameters so when i just click on the parameters i'm having an another you know properties palette and for horizontal justification i see horizontal justification the value it is showing it's like a center so that is center so out of this entire thing out of this entire thing we are just getting only the center value here so you are getting not even 1% of the data which exactly a parameter have let's say when i just click on and if i play with the definitions i'm having another set of data again i can see where it had started where it has end i mean i can fetch the start point and end point of a duct and if i want to move the start point if i want to cut this duct into like uh, 10 parts or 15 parts or no for every 4.5 meter i want to cut a i want to cut this stuff you can do it by understanding the data from the this kind of uh, i mean this rivet api lookup tool 
Do you understand? You would look up to and somewhere. Okay. So you are not even seeing 5% of the content, not even 5%, like 2 to 5% of the actual content. Rest you can see a lot. Now, okay, Rajesh, like how can I correlate this? I mean, if you're saying I understand, but can you give me an example? Yes, why not? So I'm having like an element here. So if I ask element, put a dot next to it and ID, element dot ID, it will give you the ID information. If I ask element dot name, it will give you that element name. If I ask element dot parameters, it will give you the parameters. If I'm asking element dot category, it will give you the, that particular category information. If I ask element dot geometry, it will give you. Let me show you that here. Okay. So the first one is element dot ID. Element dot ID. So when I connect that, it will give you the element ID. Keep that aside. So what's the next one? Element dot category. Okay. Let me. Okay. Let me keep. No, let me erase this. Element dot category. Element dot. Oh, this is not the one. See, wrong node. It doesn't mean like you are exactly playing with the correct one. So you. This is also not the one. Element dot cat jewelry. Now. My uh, terminology have failed, so I will be applying in another strategy. So there are five different strategies to search a node. So the first, if the first strategy failed, try the second one. If the second one failed, try the third one. If you, I mean, if the third one also failed, try the fourth one. Finally, if you didn't get all, not on this, the four strategies, you will definitely get it on the fifth one. 99% it's sure. Okay. So Rajesh, I can't remember all the strategies. Rajesh, is there any shortcut? Yes, we have. You don't need to remember these five strategies. But if you go for any interview, they'll ask you, how do you find? Then you have to explain, you know, I have a shortcut. They don't listen to this. You have to explain the, you know, the traditional, you know, uh, the coding standards. Very traditional. So even I'll explain you the traditional because you must know it. And the same time, I will explain the shortcut because I don't want to use this traditional and getting delayed writing some scripts. I'll teach you the traditional for your interview sake and logic in it and everything. At the same time, I'm going to clear everything with the shortcuts to make you, uh, what do you say that? Uh, to make you a bit faster. And guys you are very dumb in coding and really don't know you hate coding i am not getting any logic to write this script we have a lifetime assistant chatgpt i'm going to give you a prompt just use that prompt for your uh, this thing and uh, it will give you very detailed logic i'll show you how i mean today itself in the end of by the end of the training the today's training, I'm going to show you how to use a chat GPT asking some uh, like logic. Okay, I'll ask very simple. Even you, you see my English is very, very basic, not up to that mark. But still, I'm good in, I'm good in explaining very, very, uh, you know, complicated stuff as well. Okay, fine. So when I'm asking connect this, so it's giving you, it is a duct. Okay, perfect. So element or geometry. Element dot geometry you're showing like element or geometry see it has given you the solid hmm. i got the duct i got the duct if i disconnect that i don't i can't see the duct so when i connect this now i can see the duct in the background okay pull this aside what else we have element dot level id so element dot level see i'm having like element dot level when i connect this to this it's giving me the level information. It's giving me the level information. Keep it aside. What else we have? Element dot location. Element dot location. I found something, but when I hover the cursor on this, get the location of the link element, not the model element. Okay. Location curve. Okay, fine. See, I got the curve. Okay, how do I come to know this? I'll just stop the preview. Now, if I disconnect that, and when I connect this, now it's giving me as a line. Now it's giving me like a line. Okay. So this is like a geometrical object. 
Even this also geometry object, even this also geometry object. Okay. So how to use this geometries that we'll see in coming sessions. So element dot parameters. Element dot parameters. Element dot parameters. Oh, clear. So what are the parameters I see here? I can see all the parameters here. So I don't want to go to the dynamo again and control this uh, middle elevation 2560. I can see in an order. Middle elevation 2560. Middle elevation 2560. Oh, is that? Okay. Fine. How do I come to know the data type of it? Now I'll just come to this later. For this, I'll keep it aside. Okay, for the some time. And element dot pinned. Element dot pin. Let me check whether it is set pin or unpin for an element. So when I connect this and it is asking like an option, do you want me to pin this element or not? Option, it is like a Boolean. So I'll use a Boolean. Now this element is not pinned. See, the element is not pinned. If I asking, yes, pin it. So true or false in the sense, I mean, you guys have to talk to the application. Okay, so you should be very close to, uh, very close to, you know, like understand what it is really uh, saying that, okay element dot pin what is it saying is it is it giving you a hint whether the element is pinned or not no this is saying exactly now it is saying element dot unpinned so when i say pin this element now that is saying it's a pinned and you see that that's an it's an pin now so if i no unpin this so then it's unpinned pin and unpin okay cool okay so the next one keep this aside Delete this, keep this aside. So we have element dot work set if I want to know the work set and if I want to check whether the element is logged or not and everything I can play with. So this will help me to play with the data. Okay, fine. Let me go with this. I hope you understand what is that. So we are going to play with the hidden data, not with uh, as usual. I mean, if you don't have a uh, such a parameter here, it doesn't mean you can't play. Even though you don't have that parameter, still you can play with it. How? That is a hidden thing. Okay. So I've just shown you today, like playing with when it comes to the. Uh -huh. Okay. For now. So parameters uh, in palette, I mean in properties palette, either you can play with. I'm sorry. Okay, and hidden as well. And hidden parameters as well. Okay, so fine. Let me go with the current parameters, whatever we have. And don't pronounce these uh, as a parameters from today onwards. Okay, don't, don't pronounce it like uh, it is, you know, uh, parameter name, parameter value. No, don't do that. Okay. So you have to pronounce it's like, it is like variable name and variable value. Okay. So, I mean, if it's very hard to pronounce, just call it as a variable name and value. Variable name and value. So simple. Variable name and the value. Uh, just a second. Uh -huh. Okay. Fine. So variable name and a value, where is it? Okay, so say that, uh, should I use this element or I'll go with another element? No, let me just pull this, same element. I don't wanna confuse you. So, I'll just cut this into the two parts. I'll use red color. Okay, I'll just cut this into the two parts. The left hand side, they are always a text. See horizontal justification. What is the data type here? What is the parameter name data type? Huh? It's a string text. It is a text. Text, 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 text. text. All are text. So if any node which is expecting parameter name, blindly, it is a text. Clear? Remember this. And when it comes to the values, they are keep on changing. When it comes to the values, they are keep on changing. So what is this? 
what is this text only what is the data type text correct correct okay middle text level 1 text next this one integer 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 okay so we are 50% correct 50% wrong i'm going to prove you how it so most of the beginners they they feel okay are right? this is text only no but why i'm not able to play with uh why i'm not able why i'm not able to play with this uh, parameters so they'll get confused i'm going to confuse a lot you you're going to see that in next coming two days okay so anyways so i want to play with uh, i want to play with middle elevation parameter so get parameter value by name and set parameter by name so these two nodes like i want you to play with even today after this session i'm i'll show you like where the dynamo will be you just open the dynamo you don't need any external installations it is a default but whatever versions you are having i'm going to uh, i'm going to take a survey today uh, like which revit versions you have in your machine just i mean you know uh, drop it in the chat box drop it in the chat box which is the highest version installed in your machine okay everyone i mean students or no i mean students okay so drop your uh, thing in either in my personal whatsapp or else drop it in the chat box i have to look into it okay so use the highest uh, revit dynamo version okay so what is the advantage of it i'm going to explain you later okay so here i'm having like a two nodes what are these two nodes rajesh i mean like you know these are called twin nodes these are set of a twin nodes like this we have a mini twin nodes so if you place one you have to place an another one as well so twin nodes we generally called as twin nodes i'm going to explain you what is a twin node uh, and uh, how it exactly works okay let me explain you what these two nodes does exactly okay so element i'm saying that uh, i'm having an element here and i'm having an element here and i want to get the parameter value i want to get the parameter value by the parameter name actually this is supposed to be like this parameter name but actually it looks like very lengthy node no so that is the reason they simplify with like this so it's a get parameter value by a name by its name okay again at the same thing what about this here so i have an element and i want you to set the parameter value by its name i want you to set the parameter value by its name first go with the first one i am having an element can you please get the value of the parameter name so i'll connect an element here very simple i'll connect an element okay why i'm looking here and there because that is expecting i'm having two inputs guys i'm having like a two inputs so the first input is expecting element and the second input this is expecting like a parameter what are the inputs again if i cut any node into the two parts the left hand side are always will called as an input 101% the outside will get the output so these are output nodes so input and output so the first ground rule you have to follow okay it's a, it's like a thumb rule if you are if the node is expecting any input you must connect the same to it here it is throwing you the parameter so you can't connect this so that is expect this is giving you ah let me connect this let me here and there let me connect here and there i can't connect this element to this because i don't know what is this what is that expecting it is throwing you here no i can't connect this to this because it is having integer as an output but i am expecting input as an element so you cannot connect so this is the output which is like a category but the input this is expecting an element no string this is throwing you the string but this is expecting an element if you connect this to this directly it will give you are you idiot i am expecting an element how can you connect a string to me even for example if your baby is expecting an ice cream and you you took pakoda 
<laughs> they'll shout no so are baba i'm expecting like an ice cream then why did you bring this pagoda okay even though it is a chicken mutton pagoda whatever it is they won't accept so the same time so they'll started changing their expressions facial expressions even the code have some expressions i mean i mean how can you detect that uh, expressions are rajesh color color so i mean if your baby uh, face turns to you know reddish when she is angry then it means okay you are you did something wrong error even the node will turns into the red color state okay if it is somehow lightly orange it's a warning ray i would expect this no this is how it is okay so understand how the code is trying to convey something to you simple okay fine so this is a string i can't connect so we are level oh this is giving you the level and it is expecting the element no so i'm having only one node which is throwing it output this so when i connect the element to this then it's perfect now parameter name i've told you that parameter name it's always to be connected with a string so i'll type a string here because we don't call the text as a text i mean if you type a text you know you can't get anything you will get something i mean read text write text append text no but you can't get any node to write some input so that is a string we generally call that as a string okay let me open this and text will call it as a are string text will call this a string now i can write the parameter name i write middle elevation my ddle e e l e d e t i o n middle elevation very good so when i connect this simple now i can see what what would be the value i can see here huh what i can see exactly here 25 uh, 2560 2560 correct so this yeah. is expecting an element i have connected this element and this is expecting the parameter name i connected the parameter name of this then it will fetch this element elevation is 2560 this element width is this this element flow is this that is how it will get okay let me see 250 whether the output is correct or not no why why string is not wrong maybe middle elevation is okay case sensitive it may aha you gone through my okay good middle elevation okay spelling mistakes cleared m i d d l e e l e v a t i o n okay clear but still let me deselect and reconnect it oh, let me reconnect second time third time 100 time it won't i think caps of very correct this is called case sensitive okay case sensitive in the sense whatever it is exactly m caps e caps okay so there are some terms if you assign for example let me show you i have called a equal to 50 let me mute everyone i called a equal to 50 and i'm asking can you please multiply a into a then it it will it will say like 2500 okay but if i call with capital a into small a by mistake i mean instead of like small a i type capital a no it won't return anything it will not return anything because there is no value assigned to capital a do you understand simple thing okay if i am calling with if i want to play with the parameter it must be the case sensitive so capital m capital m even okay. though it will not allow you it is merciless so whatever it is exactly there you have to type exactly the same otherwise it will not allow you at all so even e also caps huh? okay fine okay fine still not why space correct space now it's giving you 2560 so make sure while you playing with any parameter you must enter exactly the same even for by you know by mistake if you add one more space to it it can't it looks you will keep on you know looking here and there m caps e caps space is the no spelling mistakes because of an additional space it it's not accepting that 
Okay, you won't do this after some time. No, Rajesh, why should I write it again? Can't I extract the information from here? You can get it. So, what is it doing exactly? It is getting the value to play to proceed further. I I need, for example, if I'm having like one element, that's fine. But if I'm having ten thousand elements, so I can connect the ten thousand elements. So it's it's expecting like you know, multiple elements, and when I connect that to this. It will work exactly the same. It will bring you all the elements, the middle elevation parameter values. Simple. Okay. Now, what does this do? Let's say I'm having an element. So let me connect the same element to this. And I want to play with the same parameter again. Connect this to this. And now this is expecting a value. Now there are three things. And I'm asking here it is, you know, it's clearly saying that. I can get you the information, but I can't do anything. It's clearly saying that I can get something. But if you want me to do something, no, I cannot. Be even that is not accepting any inputs also. Clear? So now here I'm saying, if you want me to set, come to me. This, this cannot work for you. I can work for you. So set parameter value by parameter name. So when I connect, connect with that particular element, with which parameter you want me to uh, play, Okay, fine. Just connect me the parameter name. And what do you want me to set? Can you please set the value? Now, for number, right? So, when I type integer, I don't have any integer node like this. I, okay, let me type double. Rajesh told me integer and double. So, there are no double nodes here. There are no double nodes and there are no integer nodes. There is one common thing, it is like a number. One common, okay. You can use this number node for integers and for double as well, okay. Let me type, uh, let's make it 2800. That's it. When I connect this to this, I can see that element is moving to, okay, forget about, let me do that. It's moving to the 2800. Now the middle elevation is 2800. Now the elevation, the middle elevation is like a 2800. Oh, if I change this 2800 to uh, 2000, like 400 now. Now it's 2400. So I can play instantly with this. Or what happened? Can't I do it manually? No. If you write more logic to it, more logic to it. Okay. Now let's take a help of like chat GPT. Uh, let me show you. Anyways, it's time to explain. It's very easy. Uh, asking something. A new thing here. Okay. Now, this is the chat GPT interface, guys. Okay. This is a chat GPT interface. And I have today I have sent you a PDF in the WhatsApp group. Okay. So, I'll reshare it again. Because after sharing that document, most of the people joined. So, I'll share it again. Reshare that again. Uh, now that contains some, uh, yeah, let me show you that. Hmm. Let me show you that now. Okay. So that's a BIM GPT. So BIM GPT in the sense, like for BIM automation, like generated pre-trained cheat sheet. Okay. So there are some set of roles. Guys, make sure you have to understand this. These are called roles because you know, a uh, chat GPT have n number of roles. Chat GPT will act like a lawyer. Chat GPT will act like a doctor. Will act like a medical rep. Will act like a developer. Will act like a hacker. Everyone. So it has a different, different trained models. They, I mean, like let's say, like let's say, set of hard disks. So one hard disk completely contains the AutoCAD information. So if you need any CAD files of you know hotel project, we'll go and pick it in the CAD project. And if you're asking like uh, CAD standards, it will give you the CAD standards. Okay, fine. In the second hard disk, it's a BIM related information. So if you need ISO 19650 standards, you have to go and ask that, open that hard disk and you ask, I mean, act uh, as a BIM guy, act as BIM manager. So that's what. So here, like how we have a different, different hard disks. So we have a different, different roles. So these are, I mean, if you want to, Act the chat GPT as a Revit Dynamo expert. You have to say that act as a act as a Revit Dynamo expert. No, it will give you the graph. 
So there is an another line, Revit AP with Python developer. So our level two learning act as a Revit API with C Sharp developer, our level three learning. Okay, and Revit add in specialist. So this will also be the level three learning. So BIM modeler level zero. Okay, so since like you are in the level zero stage, now you guys are entering into the level one stage. Now you guys are into the level one stage into the Revit Dynamo now. Okay, so BIM modeler. Okay, so BIM modeler stage, BIM coordinator, act as a BIM manager, act as a BIM analyst, act as a BIM consultant. So if you ask act as a BIM consultant, what are the general charges, uh, freelance charges for a BIM modeler, it will give you because it has the capability to extract that information. Okay, so you can ask anything, even if you are a modeler and if you want to know what are the BIM manager rules, you can ask act as a BIM manager, what are your daily routine, it will give you. You understand what kind of tools I have supposed to learn. Uh, want to if I want to become a BIM manager, it will give you, it will explain you like every single damn thing. But the way you should know how to ask it, that is called prompting. So I'm going to teach you how to write that prompts to get you know, the Dynamo graph logics first of all. Okay, fine. And there are a number of tones. Act as a Revit Dynamo expert and uh, in an educational tone because I'm learning. I'm learning, okay, educational tone. I want to explain the same concept to a, to my colleague in a very humorous way, in a humorous tone. So the same example, it will give you in a humorous tone. Do you understand? So that is a, that's a tone. I mean, it will adopt and it will write a story for you. Do you understand? It will write a story for you. And a critical tone, what do you mean by critical? I'm having three different logics to extract the ducts which are, bigger than 415 to 450. So I don't know, I don't want to uh, select manually. I don't want to create a schedule, no nothing, but I want to filter all the ducts which are bigger than 415 to 450. How, I mean, I'm, I'm having like a three different strategies, which is the best strategy to apply. So you are already having a solution, but in three different ways, but you want to ask, you want to know like, which is the best suitable method then it'll, it's called critical tone. Act as a critic. Okay, then it will give you, it will decide and it will give you, go with this Rajesh, because this is a very simplest way and there are direct, you can get the shortcut notes uh, from that package, from this package and it will give you completely. Okay, so that's what. And writing style. So if you want to, this is for the presentation sake. Anyways, we'll see that later. Okay, and if you want to see the table, I mean the data, in a table format or in a list format or in a summary or else whatever you can play with and uh, there are I'm, I'm i'm changing the formats i'm going to change the formats and i can reshare it to my students who join my training program it's still empty i mean like not that good. there are a few more uh need to be added here i'm going to change this completely with i'm going to give some examples and everything i'm going to fulfill this i mean i'm going to fill this a pdf you know very extreme way like you may have get like 25 pages of document. The one today I shared, it's like just a one page and you're going to get a 25 pages document details. Okay, don't worry. So now let me ask, act as a, a Revit Dynamo expert. Okay, I'll, I'll ask like act as a Revit Dynamo expert. Kama, can you help me writing a logic? Writing a logic uh, to get the ducts in the rivet model, which are bigger than 450 into 450 in size. Okay, now I'm asking like act as a rivet dynamo expert. Can you write me? I'll be writing a logic uh, in a size. Okay, uh, and I'm asking create a dynamo graph. Dynamo graph. Why I'm asking? It's very clear. If I only use this, it'll, it may give you the code. Let me see. If I hit enter, it may give you the rivet, I mean, Python code. Or uh, no, it's giving the step-by-step -step logic. First, get all the elements in the model. Very clear. I mean, all elements of category. Use this node and connect the ducts to it. Is that? Okay. So filter ducts by size. You have to filter the ducts. You will need to extract the width and height parameters 
of each duct, ducts and rivet might have this dimension stored in parameters like width and height. Correct? No. So we have a uh, we have a width parameter and we have a height parameter. Correct? So element dot get parameter value by name. Use this element dot get parameter value by name node and connect the values width and height parameters to it. Let me use this same thing. If I'm very new to this, all elements of category. Actually, uh, like in demo, I supposed to explain, but I didn't notice that it is uh, my GB, chat GPT got expired. So all elements of category, all elements of category. Okay, I use this and uh, you will need and connect the ducts to it. Now this is a challenge. Now I can ask where, I mean, which node I supposed to connect the ducts to it? Category. Okay, for this it's fine. If you are aware of something, that's fine. Or else I can ask like, um, where should I, to which node I should connect the ducts. Okay, where should I connect the ducts? Uh, you have, you have explained in the point one. So just use a basic English. I mean, if you're very good in English, I think you can use it. So in the point one, now let me see whether it replies or not. In point one, use all elements of category and the categories ducks to nodes and they will connect that to a Hmm. Here I didn't give you it again. It is giving you the same thing. Okay. So in such cases, you have to. I mean, it's giving you the logic. It won't. Don't expect everything. But okay. Let me explain you. Like you have to connect the ducks to it. Ducks to it. Okay. So all elements of category. Now what is the second step? Filter duct by size. Okay. Now it is asking to connect the same one. What we exactly element or get parameter value by name. So after that, control Z, control V, get parameter, value by name, element this, and parameter, right, uh, width and height, control Z, in string, control V, paste this, I got the width. Now again, I want to connect the height as well. So I'll use the same control C control V. I got that and I'll type height. I'll just type that here. Okay, perfect. Now use the code block. Okay. And uh, to implement the checks if the width and height, write this exactly. Uh huh. Now I'll use a code block. I mean, if you double click on the workspace, it will give you. So type it. Okay. Now that is expecting width and height. So this is the width values. Uh -huh. So these are the height values. Uh -huh. Okay. Now they are giving you true or false values. Now they are giving you true or false values. Okay. Then what do you want me to do, uh, chat GPT? Filter ducts based on the size. Use filter by boolean mask. Are you sure? Right click, paste it. Very perfect. And then note the, the mask input will be the output of your code block. The mask input will be the output of your code block. Output of the code block to the mask. Very good. Uh, code block which will evaluates the true for ducks larger than. Okay, I understand. Connect the original list of the ducks to the list to this. See, it's very clear. It's saying that connect the original list of ducks to the list input of the filter by billion mask. Who oh, is it? So original list of elements, okay, got it to the list. Okay, so now out, the out output of this node will give you the ducts that meet your size criteria. Is it? Mm -hmm. The output, the filter ducts can then be used for further processing for or visualization or you can play with it. Done, we are done. I mean, if you can see that in list, when you hover the cursor on this, it is items whose mask index is true. So what it is exactly doing, if the width is greater than 450 and the height is greater than 450, then it will convert that into the true values. 
So I can see the false and I can see the trues also. I can see somewhere true here, 59th element. 59th element. Let me see the 59th element in this list. Huh. 59th element in this list. See, it's a 475 because it's bigger than 450. It's bigger than 450. Okay. 59 element. And what about 59 element here? 450. That's a 450. Okay. So now it is saying, I mean, why it is showing like 450? Because it, it has having some decimal values over there. Maybe 450.0123 something. So if it has more than 450.0123, it will be considered as a bigger. Okay. Now in list is having different list and out list I'm having like a different list. Let me show you. Watch note. 61 elements are there and watch connect this so 653 elements are there 653 and 61 total 7 and uh, 724 are something 714 yeah 714 okay cool now if i want to select and see all those select in rabbit so i don't want to write anything here so it has given you the complete logic in the chat GPT. In the chat, they, they got selected now. If I go and see, see the elements of the ducks which are bigger than 415 to 450, they got selected. Now let me uh, isolate HI. Say this. If I check this, it's like 415 to 475. Here, of course, it's, sh it's showing it's like a 450, but I mean, in terms of if you started reading, it will be like a 450 point not decimal ones. If it has a decimal values next to it, it will consider as like a bigger. If it is exactly 450, it will not come out of it. Okay. Clear. So this one. So this one 450 to 475. So this one is a again 2400 into 400. Every single rate out of this. Now these are the dash. Okay. If I want to make it more precise, I can ask chat GPT to write. Um, not only, um, we get then 450 and length is bigger than, let's say 15,000. Let me see. What is the length here? 17,500. 16,500, 11,000. Okay, let's make it 10,000. It will be better. I'll ask chat GPT. So the condition, I mean, you know, the way you no need to take that pressure to write a, con you know, the conditions. Because for a developer, the logic is really, really important. But where a person who doesn't have any coding background, they're they fail first in the logic only. But if you have an assistant who help you in every scenario, it brings you the confidence. So get that confidence. Do you understand? So why do you need, you don't even take, you don't need to text me at midnight, three o'clock. Rajesh, I want to write, Are Baba, go and ask your assistant who can, I mean, you don't need to wait for my reply till morning, nine o'clock, 10.30 or whenever I'm available after five days. So why should you? Go and ask open GPT, create an account today and ask it. Okay. So bigger, I mean, length is bigger than 10,000. Yeah. Just like, let's click on save and submit. Now it is giving you the same content, but it will give you an additional select all the ducks, filter those exactly, select all the ducks, categories, all elements of category, element or parameters, fetch some information, even including the length as well. Then it's giving you the logic. Uh, use a logic node which is greater than okay. See, it has changed the uh, way of explanation now. Earlier it is okay, but this time it is a different explanation. So when you click on regenerate it, it's keep on changing the way of uh, the way of its explanation, the style of its explanation. So now it has it didn't give me any additional uh, thing here, but here width is bigger than 450. 
height is bigger than 450 and length is bigger than 10,000. No, now I have to ask the same thing. No, I got the logic because I'm already having an experience with this. So I'll write a one more control C control V because I have another condition that is like a length. So when I connect the length, okay, I got it. Then I'll write here and G length equal well, length is bigger than 10,000 simple. Now I have a third condition added. I'll just connect this length information to this. Now I got only three ducks. Do you see that? Only three ducks and they got selected. If I go and see that, see now. Simple. Okay. So this is the way. Logic is very, very important. I mean, when you are into this stage. Okay. So this is the way ChatGPT helps you. Okay. Fine. Don't discuss more you know, uh, uh, in the beginning itself, the reason I explained you here, logic is really important and how do you uh, use this chat GPT in your daily routine? Okay, create your chat GPT account 2D if you don't have, okay, fine. I'm not a, uh, you know, I'm not a, a marketing chat GPT, it is an open source. I mean, they don't pay me anything. To, this is for your sake, okay, fine. Good. Now, the reason I'm explaining everything today, I mean, I'm going to in next 30 minutes, I'm going to confuse you. I'm going to confuse you. How? Let me show you. So let me phrase this. Control C, Control V. You guys have to, oh, okay, fine. Phrase this. Okay. Um, Not with this. I'll play with the single object for now. Okay. You say I have selected one element. I don't remember which the which element it is. Hmm. Yeah, I think this one. Whatever. Let me do it again. I don't remember. Uh -huh. This element only. Okay. So 2500. Now I'm in 2400. I've changed this. I want to control uh, the width now. How? How to change it? Guys, now everybody active. So how do I change this? You can you can unmute your mics. You can unmute your mic. Tell me how to change the width from 450 uh, to 500. We have to get, we have to set the parameter to 500. So first I have to change the parameter width. Correct. First I have to yeah. change the width to this uh, and uh, 500 to this. And when I connect this to this, yeah. then it will, it will change to the size 500 and then to 350. Correct. Very good. Now, if you want to change the additional flow from 0 to 100, then type. Then parameter name uh, will be additional flow. And I'll change this value to 100 and connect this to this. So now the additional flow is 100 liters per second. Very good. Now I want to change the comments value from 5 to 500. So I'll change this comments value to 5 to 500. And I connect this. No, it's not changing. It's not changing. Why? It's not a number. That is a text. How do you come? How do you come to know that it is a text? Or big? It looks like an integer only. No. Yeah, comments usually it will be in textual format. You can type text also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So you are clear. Let me explain uh, others. Okay. So the logic behind. So one minute. Yeah, yeah. Sir, is it like we are uh, uh, the comment uh, node is not available, or we uh, in that case we use this uh, string as an, you know, you you get uh, my point, right? No, we don't have any separate nodes for the uh, parameters. We don't have any separate okay. nodes for like element dot mark, element dot comments, element dot image, element dot work set. We don't have uh, like you know the different 
uh, names for the parameters. I mean, you don't have a middle element dot middle elevation. You don't have a element dot reference level. Okay, so it okay, has some okay, okay. only for some parameters. We have a default uh, uh, default parameters. I mean, default nodes. Okay. I mean, if if they want to play with a level, yeah, you'll get it. If you want to play with an elevation, yes, you can get it. But with the not with the direct parameters. So for most of the parameters, you have to use the set parameter and get parameter. To get some information, get parameter. To play with, set parameter. So get and set. Get means it's getting something, and set means it's trying to set something. Simple. Okay. Now uh, I can't change this. Now this is the first time I think when I explain you the warning. So when I hover the cursor on this, read. If you if you love the warnings, you will be the better, the best developer ever. If you hate the uh, warnings, you will never become a developer. I mean, you know, uh, try to play crazy, you know, to get the warnings. I want to see the warning. What if uh, I what if I do this? I you know that it will it will give you the warning, but you want to read the warning how it exactly. Because you know, if you have started seeing the warnings, you know how it works. But if you are connecting something wrong, if it's giving you the warning, so in case you, you, if you see any such warnings, you will be coming to know very quickly. Are I got this warning when I played with, uh, when I played last time, uh, with that task. So it will be very easy for you. So try to play for the warnings, get the warnings maximum as much as you can, and you don't have a thousands of thousands of warnings we just not even have a 50 type of warnings they're very simple okay I'll, i'm going to explain everything don't worry even we don't see any such warnings as well if you connect something it will be very easy we will be coming to know no rajesh you should not connect like that you will be telling me that what to do what not to do after i mean within our training uh, sessions okay so now you guys already started uh, uh, teaching me so i really I mean, happy with that, okay? Because you are somehow uh, knowing something about it, okay? So let others know. So comments and this. What is the warning exactly? Element dot set parameter by name. Now uh, make this as a screenshot. Huh. Let me and use that as a board. Element dot set parameter by name. Remember one thing. So the first text which starts with for a warning always be the node name always be the node name so node remember this remember this for warnings you must remember this node name element dot set parameter by name element dot set parameter remember element dot set parameter by name element dot set parameter by name okay and operation failed why because are you not a doctor okay fine jokes apart so the parameter storage type is not a number. You are trying to set a value. You are trying to store some value. The storage type, the storage type is not a number. And it clearly shows it's a number. Then how can you say me? How can you say that it is a number or what? How can you say that it's not a number? It looks like a number. When I enter a number, it's, it's fine. It looks like a number, but you have to consider not what it's stored in it. What is stored in it? Don't don't look into that. What it's stored in it? It confuses you a lot. At the time of creating that parameter, at the time of creating that parameter, what did this guy, the I mean, who created the comments parameter, which data type he's choose? If he choose text, he can enter any number in it because. Text can accept everything. I'm going to show you that tomorrow. Okay. So a number, if you choose a number, it will, I mean, if it is an integer, for example, uh, uh, we don't have any such. Let me create a parameter. B underscore integer. Okay. Let me show you that. It is an integer parameter and check all. Let's say, okay. And I'll create a one more. B underscore double. Okay, I'll just connect the data type number to it because it is not a number. Group parameter under whatever it is, wherever it is. Let's say, let's say, okay. And I'll create a one more. This is like a B underscore string. Let's say text. Okay, so that is a text. Fine. Down with, oh, this is under other again. 
Let's try that again. Check all. Okay. I'm done. What is this? Where did I? Uh, other only. Okay, perfect. So let's say okay. Now when I select this duct in the other, I can see B double B integer B string. Now let me in the integer in the integer I'm entering one two three four point five six seven eight. It's giving me the warning. Idiot, enter an integer. I hate decimal values. So it's scolding me. Okay. Even it is not accepting that at least or baba at least accept one two three four. But still not. Okay. So one, two, three, at least one decimal value. No. School you. Okay. Let's say one, two, three point at least zeros. Ha. Huh. Accepting. See, it is accepting the point zero 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 decimal values. Even in the coding also. When you connect any decimal values to it, it will accept. But if it is like zero zero one, no, it won't accept. Okay. Now, what about this double now? If I add one, two, three, it is adding some one, two, three, four, six, zero values automatically because that's a double data type. I mean, if I type, if I enter one, two, three point four per six, it will accept. It's accepting. Okay. In this, if I type a BIM error, no, it will not accept. Let me type in this. If I type BIM error, no, it will not accept. It's not accepting the text in both integer and double. And in the second and the third one, it is not accepting even the doubles in the integer. So there are three ground rules. Integer will be always an integer and double will be, uh, let me select this. Double will be the decimal data type. And when it comes to the string, when it comes to the string, if I type BIM error, it is accepting, it's accepting. If I type one, two, three, four, now will it give you the warning or not? Will it give you the warning? No, it will accept. No. My answer is yes. It will definitely give you the warning. Who will agree with me? How many of you agree with me? Tell me. It won't give warning. <laughs> Hmm? Don't give a warning. Okay. Fine. Let me see. Yeah. See, it's not giving you the warning. There will be no error. What if I type like one, two, three, four point five six seven eight? No, but it looks like a double. It looks like a double, but it is not a double. Okay. So it looks like let's say BIM error one, two, three, four. So it is accepting a text and a integer also. It is accepting a text and looks like a double value also. It is accepting a text uh, numbers with the decimal values and the special characters as well. It won't accept the rest of this will not accept any special characters because they act like a strings. So a string can I mean uh, because you know while you're playing with the room name room numbers or sheet name or sheet number may sometime we have a numbers in it. It doesn't mean it is a string. I mean, it doesn't mean it is a uh, integer or something. Okay, it is a string, which a string can store uh, any kind of uh, characters in it. Okay, even it can store some special characters, uh, ASCII characters, everything. Okay, so that is a string. Okay, now when I see these comments at the time of the person who created, okay, Rajesh, uh, I mean, is there any other way to see that the data type when I uh, without opening the dynamo or anything, I don't want to use the get parameter. Very simple. When I hover the cursor on this, the comments parameter, see the comments built in parameter and in the next line, which is showing it is a text. Do you see that? Okay. So what if I type when I hover the cursor on this upper and top elevation built in parameter and length. And do you know how do you enter a length? It is in a it is in a number format, correct? So it's a number, very good. So if I type, um, if I check work set, when I hover the cursor on the work set, oh my goodness, it is saying a built-in parameter drop-down list, drop-down list. It is not saying it is a string or it is not saying it is a text. I mean, it's a number. 
it's it is because you know when i hold the cursor on this it is like a work set i want to change this work set from okay let me try change it from the beginning so what is the storage type of this what is the storage type of horizontal justification tell me what is the storage type of horizontal justification uh, it should be drop down list again or you have to hover the cursor over there horizontal justification horizontal justification and let me set it looks like a, a text so i use a string so for text we'll use a string for num i mean integer and double we'll use a number so i'll say there is a center i will change that to the left i'll change to the left so when i connect this to this element would set parameter by name operation field the parameter store step is not a string is not a string or it's clearly looks like a string but still it is not a string then what i've told you only to play with the integers and strings today but how do you come to know whether if it is not a string hover the cursor on this it's saying it is a drop down list so what is the processor to play with the drop down list that we'll see tomorrow okay the reason when it comes to the data types we have let me meet everyone in the data types we have two type of we have two types we have a two types so the first one is like a primitive and someone asked me what is an element id image or an element that is element element specific that's an element specific primitive data types primitive data type and element specific data types okay so primitive will be coming in uh, all this control x control v so under primitive the number i mean the integer and the double and the text i mean the string and s or no will call it as a boolean we are we are playing with this tomorrow and tomorrow for the first one hour i'm going to confuse you tomorrow i think we don't have any q and a part okay for the first one hour i'm going to uh, confuse you and the second hour i'm going to give you the clarity so tomorrow session will be very very interesting don't miss the session at any cost okay leave office early and come and you know attend this session okay uh, and for sure okay so don't uh, try to because you know the first three days are very important because this brings you the more uh, you know what do you say that into to it gives you more energy more for you know uh, it will give you more energy to well you know so i mean it, it creates some sort of interest more interest okay because if all your clouds will be uh, gone for sure with tomorrow session okay because that's a data okay so that's how we are playing with a data type okay so the data types are very important ones and after the data type how we are going to reshape it that we are going to see that in our coming sessions okay but don't forget skipping it and i'm show you some different examples using uh no chat gpt uh, i'll show you with an dynamo itself like some sort of a basic code or everything okay well good so uh, element specific data types so this will be and what comes under element specific walls okay generally i mean if you see a number it looks like a number integer and double but element specific it looks like rivet dot elements dot wall rivet if it is a window rivet dot elements dot window window this is how it looks like okay the last one is the data type the last one is a data type wall is a data type window is a data type so then what are all these two a uh, path like a folder path i'm going to show you later okay so let me resolve the drawings a clear so primitive and a uh, let's say instead of saying element specific i'll say application specific so application specific data type in the sense for that particular application if you play with a different application 
that has an uh, application specific data types in separate. Okay, fine. So let me minimize this. And uh, if I want to play with the vertical justification, reference level, everything. Let me connect reference, reference level. And instead of like level one, I'll connect level two. Level two, connect this to this. Colors, element dot set parameter, it's not a storage type, it's not a string. Okay, cool. System type. Uh, we have undefined and uh, we have only undefined. We don't have anything. So if I want to set anything, system type, it is a it is a string. I know undefined instead of undefined. I'll say. Uh, Sir, one apply. minute. So what do we do when it gives a warning of uh, the level one is not mentioned? You know, the level one is not the exact value that we have to give to the node, right? So what hmm. do we do in that case? That is a magic. I can't what if you want material. to change it to the level three. That okay, is okay. the yeah. magic in there. Okay, that's a secret. Sure. And okay. it's like we have yes. uh, people who join for demo. I can't disclose it now. Tomorrow I'm gonna disclose. Sure, sure, sure. Clear? Right, right. Okay. So I'll show you. There are few uh, techniques to understand. I mean, if you if you if you know that today, you can rock the show for sure. Understand? So that's the reason I'm not revealing it today. Tomorrow, there are a few more examples. Uh, I mean, first, I told you as I have to confuse you. So if any clarity, I mean, if any example, uh, if I explain directly, you may not, uh, you know, you may not take it as a serious. But if I show you some, uh, you know, complexity of it and the toughest part of it, and then I started giving you the solution, you will remember it. And you will be coming to know like how, Easy, easy to tackle that as well. Okay, so let me show you how what the problems generally are the beginners face. Then I'll explain you tomorrow in the second hour. Okay, so undefined. Let's say I'll connect this apply that to this. Still no. It is. It looks like a string, but it is every parameter it is saying it's not a storage type. It is not a string. Then what, man? How do I come to know what storage type you are? We'll see that tomorrow. Okay, so. Additional flow. Now tell me additional flow 100 liters per second. So there we have a text and number also. Now guys tell me is that an integer or a string? Hmm? Tell me. Uh, is that an it's integer? a double. No, it has a liters per second L by S. It has a special character. I mean special character and the text also. I but told the you parameter before. understands the value, right? What about L by S? Okay, L by S is just indicative. Hundred point zero zero is the. I'm sorry, it's my assumption because hmm. additional flow Revit understands the value. Cool man, good. Okay, so let me try the same additional additional flow, and when I type instead of like string let's make it 200 00, 00 slash l by s so when i connect this to this the parameter storage step is not a string so that is not a string let's say as surender said if i connect 200 if it is expecting a number ha huh, it's it's working now correct so here in this case there are there are two explanations i mean with uh, Surender. The first one is he'll try with 200 uh, dot uh, double zero and L by S. If it didn't work, I mean the second logic, as is assumption, it's right. So he he passed to the second logic itself. So sometimes even though if it is not a number, if it is not a string, then that challenges. What is the third data type? Can you guess what would be the third data type in case if it is not a string and not an integer? Huh? That we'll see tomorrow. Clear? Yes, sir. No. Uh, that one? Good. But SR no will not be like this. Okay. I'll show you. So there are few more data types that uh, needs a detailed explanation. So tomorrow we are going to see the same thing again. Okay. Uh, I'll explain you. But before I finish this training program, because um, I have invited few 
uh, you know uh, people to join this uh, live day one training for uh, as a demo so for them this is exactly what i'm saying see the training will be like this actually this is not a demo um, uh, to explain you everything you maybe you are expecting some additional info related to the training and what would be covered in the training part then text me personally i'm in on my whatsapp so that i can share the complete details and i think we have i think you know due to this i met with us i mean as many people know that like i recently met with an accident and um due to that like i lost uh, three four uh, participants because you know they're not uh, they couldn't join in time and that's the reason like still there are two more sheets left okay so if you have a chance to i mean if you are interested to join join today okay there are two more sheets left you can join from you can continue from mm -hmm. the tomorrow's training clear guys clear everyone and uh, the way i mean i'll send you some course outline as well so that is not the final outline what we have uh, what we are going to cover there are there are many topics let me show you uh, device uh, device training so there are many these are individual topics like there are many topics to be covered there are many topics i can't show you the, all those that's the reason i'm just showing you like these are the device training and there are many how many pages it is i can't see yeah 19 pages i mean now it is very this is very old one like one and a half year old of course i'm not uh, referring this i'm just showing you as an example we have we have added many concepts next to please the chat gpt so how how maximum i can try to make you lazy i can make you lazy understand don't even spend more time on logic don't spend more time on uh thinking about the notes don't spend more time on writing the code i'll make you lazy in every single aspect okay we don't cover only the dynamo things we cover out of the box okay so i'll show you the hacks as well like how you grow bigger okay like how do you get this into uh, the dynamo positions okay i'll explain everything okay so the certification part is yes, of course uh, the certificate cost itself it is 3700 i think so 3500 3000 something so that is a digital certification like what autodesk is offering what uh, there is a one more what they are offering exactly uh, because it works it and it is included in the same course fee itself okay you are not going to pay anything additional okay so what else yeah that's it okay so if you are interested then text me personally so that we'll have a call or we'll have a text and i'll send you the complete payment details course structure and everything and you can join okay so if you enjoyed this today session this is nothing uh you're going to enjoy like anything on the coming trial because you know the more the way i show you with the detailed explanations you will thoroughly enjoy it okay so more deeper cons more in depth concepts i'll explain in more deeper examples okay but more examples okay so today it is not a done because and i supposed to cover even the missing things but only the reason the people who joined i mean for you who joined for the demo only for you because i haven't disclosed and has stretched the the session a bit or otherwise i could finish that the boolean part and uh, the secret as well okay fine then so guys uh, this is for today now q and a part anyone have any questions in today's session anyone have any questions yeah rajesh i have two questions mm. so first thing i saw revit lookup tool so revit lookup tool is not available in default revit right no you have to install it externally i'll, I'll send you everything okay. don't worry i'll provide you that okay, okay. and that is not okay. a part of a level one training surender it is a level two training okay because it contains okay, fully okay. code okay for explanations i may use it but we don't cover that okay then 24 
so the second question is in dynamo mm. part you showed uh, selection of uh, nodes through library and monoskull so that monoskull is also a separate thing which need to be monocle uh, that's uh, no. that's separate to be installed or it's uh, available in dynamo by default no you you have to pay i think a uh, 10000 to use that if you pay in to me i'll give you the access okay it's a joke I'll, okay i just kidding it is a free okay so if you install a monocle okay. packet they will get it okay mm -hmm. i'm going to share you everyone yeah. Do everything don't worry okay clear okay, okay. yeah okay yeah okay any, any other questions why only surinder is asking no one don't understand hmm? anyone have any questions or day one no questions day two lot of medium questions and day three full load of questions huh? no no questions come on Today we don't no, have any questions. Mm -hmm. Almost clear. Almost clear. I think so tomorrow, in you'll, Dynamo, tomorrow you'll have a lot, have of, a lot of questions. Okay, good. So finally, <laughs> if no questions, let me explain. I'll just go to the, I mean, I mean, if you have installed more Revit versions in your PC, prefer the maximum, whatever you can. Okay, I mean, whatever you have with you. Like, uh, try if it's possible, like, to go with uh, 20 uh, above 2020 i mean if you have 2021 much better 2020 is also fine but 2019 uh if you if anybody using like 2019 then install the 2020 if you don't have such the recording okay text me personally so that i can help you out on the installation part and everything and you no need to install any external dynamos or nothing we used to have the external dynamo before I'll show you what you mean by external dynamo uh, in, on the fourth day. Because for the first three days, it's very, very important for me. Okay. So I don't explain any user interface, nothing. So first we are friendly with understanding the data types concept. Uh, I Because, you know, I can make you bore somehow on the fourth day. Of course, it will be very boring. Not very boring. It will be boring. Okay. But, you know, that, that contains some information where... Uh, it helps you in at the time of, because you know generally if you go for an interview uh, they'll ask you uh, what is that what is this with a very basic question very, very very basic questions and if you put like one year of experience and up uh, and go and applying for any a uh, position you must know all this if you would like to use and trust me you are not at all uh, equal to a person i mean uh, not at all a fresher a person who is having like two years of one and one and one one end of year of R and D experience, you are equal to them. So you are equal to them. You are more better than them because most of the people who is having like true experience, they don't know the maximum concepts what I taught today, even tomorrow, not at all. Understand? Okay. The way I explain the tomorrow's concept, nobody knows it. Seriously. Okay. So I'm gonna reveal. Uh, such uh, thing and you're not a fresher at all so you you must be you know overfit like in every day you understand you you i'm mean like uh, you know you are my lions in a, in my jew now okay so i'm gonna feed you until unless you have it i'm gonna feed you feed you feed you you understand okay so uh, try to digest it and make sure remember everything if you have a uh, habit of writing notes i do really prefer but not during the training not during the training okay anyways like i'm going to send you this recorded videos for your acts i mean access for your reference okay it will take like two to three hours or else in case if i uh, if i couldn't then you may get it on the next day okay then i need your personal email address text me your personal email address on my on my whatsapp or else if you have already filled a form which I've sent you, no problem. If not, I'm going to resend it again. Please fill the form. I need your current, you know, personal Gmail IDs. Not office email IDs, nothing. 
personal gmail address please fill that form i'll uh, i'll fetch it from there okay so and don't change your email ids again and again and again so it must be your personal gmail id which is having like uh, your i mean because you know you're going to watch this videos as a private okay you have a private access so i'm going to send you the playlist link and you you will be watching over there okay clear so and must be the uh, email id which is older than six months one year or six months not the new gmail id is because my it won't accept it okay you may lost uh the access even uh like after three days or uh, four days like frequently if i reassign it again you you may lost because you know it needs a live uh, you know it's it, it must uh, need an old email id okay so use your personal okay clear anything else no and tomorrow you will be having a lot of questions and come up with the questions daily and clear your stuff clear your things first first we'll clear your doubts and then step into the sessions if you completely not allowing me to take a session i'll be more happy i'll be very happy okay because let let you kill the complete day for the questions still happy because you know if you are happy with your answers i'll be more happy if you don't ask, if you don't ask me anything i'll be you know different state of mindset then these guys won't ask me anything so i'll just i'll act like a robo or else i'll just put a recorded uh, on a screen and i'll just it will continue like you feel that okay this is okay mr rajesh is teaching but actually the, it will be the video okay so don't let me do that okay so be active and keep on asking me questions in the mood of that as well okay if you have any questions in your mind clear it on the same time stop me and clear it on the same time clear clear guys clear everyone so yeah clear yes yeah, so today yes sir mm, okay so i need two things for today the first one is your uh, email id and the second one is which revit version you are using that's it okay so i'll look into it if anyone if anyone are using like below 2020 so i have i mean i'll connect you with my admin and uh, they will help you out simple okay clear guys see you tomorrow i'll send you the new meeting link which is going to be permanent meeting link and there will be no change till the end of the training don't ask me sir where is the uh, meeting link where is the where is today's meeting link don't i don't generate again uh, you know again and again it's a only one meeting link i'm gonna send you tomorrow clear and use the same meeting link till the end of the training clear guys clear Yes, yes, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Now, where bye. can I get the form yeah, to send the mail ID and uh, Revit version? Text me, uh, I'll send you. Sure. Okay. Yeah. This is okay. only for okay. the registrants, Deepu. It's not for uh, not for doubters. I mean, if you're interested okay. to continue, okay, this is for our okay. Okay. Our student. okay. okay? Yeah. If you are interested, text me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. See you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye bye.